Making a good soap with three ingredients only. Water, oil and sodium hydroxide. Take a sit and watch this video until the end. After watching this video, you will be expert in making soap. In this video I'm going to show you all details about making a good soap by using three ingredients only. That ingredients are tap water, oil for example cooking oil, and small quantity of sodium hydroxide. Other materials needed are mold. Mold give the good shape to the soap. Electronic balance. Two beakers or other plastic containers. Below there are very important questions you have to answer before starting mixing these ingredients. The question number one. How much quantity of sodium hydroxide is needed for a given amount of oil? Or How much quantity of sodium hydroxide is needed for a given amount of fat? The question number two. How much quantity of water is needed for a given amount of oil? Or How much quantity of water is needed for a given amount of fat? Answer for question number one. In order to know the quantity of sodium hydroxide needed for given amount of oil, you have to use saponification value. What is means by term saponification value? Saponification value is milligrams of potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide required to saponify one gram of oil. Listen careful. Saponification value is milligrams of potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide required to saponify one gram of oil. For example, saponification value of olive oil is 135 milligrams of sodium hydroxide. Saponification value of sunflower oil is 136 milligrams of sodium hydroxide. Saponification value of palm oleum is 140 milligrams of sodium hydroxide. By using saponification value of palm oleum, one gram of palm oleum need 140 milligrams of sodium hydroxide to be saponified. In this work, we are going to use 300 gram of palm oleum for making soap. The quantity of sodium hydroxide required to saponify 300 gram of palm oleum is calculated as below. 1 gram of palm oleum need 140 milligrams of sodium hydroxide to be saponified. Hence 300 gram of palm oleum need 42,000 milligrams of sodium hydroxide to be saponified. These milligrams are equal to 42 gram of sodium hydroxide. Answer for question number two. The quantity of water must be 65% of mass of oil. The quantity of water required for 300 gram of palm oleum is calculated as below. The mass of oil is 300 gram. The mass of water 65% of 300 gram. 
For this work, the quantities of ingredients are Water equals 195 gram Palm olein equals 300 gram Sodium hydroxide equals 42 gram Measurement of ingredients First measure the mass of oil Set balance to zero and weigh exactly 300 gram of palm olein Palm olein oil is a refined version of palm oil. The mass of oil is exactly 300 rand. Second measure the mass of water. Set balance to zero and weigh 195 gram of water. I'm using tap water, tap water work well. The mass of water is exactly 195 gram. Third measure the mass of sodium hydroxide. Please respect this order of measurement. Set balance to zero and weigh 42 gram of sodium hydroxide. The mass of sodium hydroxide is exactly 42 gram.
Dissolve 42 gram of sodium hydroxide in 195 gram of water. The process of dissolving sodium hydroxide in water is exothermic. This heat released during dissolving sodium hydroxide in water is used in reaction between sodium hydroxide and oil because this reaction need heat. In description there is link for determination heat of dissolving sodium hydroxide in water. Pour hot solution of sodium hydroxide in oil while stirring the mixture as I'm doing. Sodium hydroxide is sometimes called caustic soda or lye. Sodium hydroxide can cause skin irritation, thermal and chemical burns leading to deep tissue injuries of skin. That reason why you have to protect yourself when you are dealing with sodium hydroxide. Stir the mixture around 20 minutes. The time of stirring can change from 15 minutes to 25 minutes depend on oil or fat used. In this work, I'm using palm oleum. The soap will be ready after around 20 minutes of stirring.
As you see, the soap mixture has reached trace. Stirring rod is passing in mixture like it is passing in yogurt. This is an indication that the soap is ready for putting it in mold. Carefully pour the mixture into your soap mold. If you don't have mold, no problem you can use plastic takeaway like this in place of mold. After you've poured the soap into the mold, leave the mold in a safe place for the next two days. After two days, remove the solid soap from mold and leave the soaps in a safe place for two weeks before using it. At this time the soap is an off-white to a creamy color as you see. If you enjoy the video, subscribe for more videos. The next video will show you how to make blue soap and how to add additives like sodium chloride, colorants, fragrance and so on. Thank you for watching.